Thank you and welcome back, uh, people. Uh, good evening, good morning. Uh, greetings to you. Uh, in this uh, video or this lecture, we'll be talking about typesetting in LaTeX. Uh, remember, uh, we are talking about introduction to LaTeX. And in the past few lectures, we have seen what's LaTeX, uh, what sets it apart from other uh, word processing softwares and uh, in the uh, recent video we created our first document in LaTeX. Uh, so in this one we'll be talking about typesetting uh, basics and typesetting text and uh, LaTeX uh, it offers font styles and sizes customization. It can customize the text appearance uh, by use of commands. Then uh, formatting the paragraphs, uh, such as uh, line breaks, indentation, and spacing. Uh, this one is very important, especially when you are writing reports and uh, you, 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 uh, your, your paragraphs should not be indented. Uh, but, um, so there is a, a latex of us that uh, options, those capabilities. Uh, that's very, very, very good. And uh, also lists uh, such as itemize and enumerate. Uh, this uh, creates uh, helps in creating bulleted and uh, numbered lists. So if you want to create a list which is numbered, don't worry about that. Later, we will take care of that. If you still want to create a list that is not numbered, the uh, LaTeX offers uh, those uh, environments for such. Uh, sometimes if you you can have you can modify even your listing you want to have bullets you want to have uh, arrows you want to have emojis you can uh, do that latex offers that remember in the last video we talked about the preamble section where and we said uh, in a simple english like where the settings of your documents are where you have to you know to make the set to change the settings you know yeah uh, this is an example of a text uh, of a type setting text in LaTeX. Uh, we said it should have the document class. Should have the document class. Uh, yes, you should. You should have the class. Here, yeah, the document class. Uh, LaTeX. Uh, it offers different types of a number of classes. And these classes that they, they determine the overall uh, layout and formatting of a document. And uh, some of the classes include article, like we have we have here. And this one is suitable for short documents such as articles, reports, or papers. It typically doesn't start a new page for each section. You know. And then we have the report class, uh, which is suitable for longer documents with chapters, like a thesis, uh, a longer report, or a book. Then we have a book class. Um, it's intended for writing books and it starts uh, chapters on odd numbered pages by default and provides feature, features suitable for book formatting. Uh, that means, you know, when you, you uh, uh, maybe you have ever bought a book and uh, you notice that all the chapters, they start on one side, either the left side or the right side. Yeah, they start at the right side. So by default, uh, by default, a book class uh, provides uh, that feature. Then we have a letter class, which is used for creating letters, and it provides uh, specific commands for formatting addresses, the letter body, and signatures. And then we have Beamer, a Beamer class, which is designed for creating presentation or slide shows. Slide shows, uh, and it allows easy creation of slides with different uh, layouts. Now. To specify a document class, you typically use the document class which we have here in line one. And in our case, we are, we are specifying an article a document. Then uh, we talked about the document environment where it's the, uh, is the main environment. Everything that goes in uh, will be printed to the document. Then in this uh, line four, we are specified a bold, bold for text BF. It's for text 
bold font text it text italic and this is what you get text tt text monospace uh, monospace you use text tt uh, it's like typewriter uh, text then for large if you need a large size you can use uh, an opening carry brace then uh, forward slash backslash then large we have the large with a capital l we have large with a small l uh, they have different sizes then you have tiny uh, we have tiny again the same we see uh, what we get then a section section uh, it formats a section and uh, this one will be numbered this one will be numbered a section will be numbered and uh, this section they are very important when you want to populate the table of contents you just call the table of contents in, uh, uh, after the begin document you can call it here maybe in line three and then all the sections and subsections and the chapters and the parts will be populated will be used to populate the table of contents and this is a paragraph to demonstrate the line breaks and indentation this is another paragraph to shows the spacing between paragraphs and you have list we talked about list itemized this one is for uh unnumbered lists and this one by default will be use bullet uh, a disk at uh, this one and that is what you get first item second item uh, this one then we have enumerate this is where this is uh a list in document ah uh, not document items and you want to list items in a numbered uh numbered and you can see enumerate first item second item and we see one two you can specify the type of uh, listing you want you can have an, a roman you can have uh have roman have arabic yeah arabic uh we have yes this one is numeric arabic maybe then the end document once you're done uh, remember to close your document uh, yes so something else let's talk about mathematical type setting in latex uh, latex offers uh, mathematical type setting and uh, in mathematical type setting we have two types of displays uh, the way we render our mathematical uh, expressions in latex we have an inline and display math mode and um, inline, inline when it's when you have you want to have a mathematical expression inside a line. That's why the word inline. For display, we want to have the mathematical expression in its own uh, line or lines. Uh, then equations and mathematical symbols can be rendered using uh, latex math mode. Yes, we have to import a package for math, AMS math. Uh, we talked about uh, the preamble. If you can remember the preamble, in the preamble, uh, we said that later we'll be including some packages that will help us in our document preparation. And uh, now, we, since we are talking about mathematics, the mathematical type setting, uh, we'll be using a package called AMS Math. Uh, we include it in our uh, our preamble okay now uh, in inline math mode in inline math mode we can embed mathematical expression using uh, within text using uh, backslash this one backslash and then uh, opening bracket then uh, backslash closing bracket all we can use we can use the dollar sign single dollar sign uh, this is what i mean we can use this one uh, or 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 we can use this one is for inline math mode. So anything that goes in between here, maybe a is equals to pi uh, squared. This one will be rendered, be rendered as a is equals to pi r squared. 
uh, nicely, but inside.